Hi, it's Cheryl from My Well-Rounded Life, and today is Thursday. It is 11.42 a.m. Normally, I would be in the car on my way to Weight Watchers, but this is what we got going on right now. Mama don't do no snow. Mama don't do no snow. So, I'm staying home. I was told, don't even start. You could hear another dog barking. Gracie Lou, no, no. I was told yesterday by my husband that we were gonna have snow today, so he said, make sure you get to the store and all. Well, I was already planning on going. I had to do um, Bank, Dollar Tree, and Small Mart yesterday, so I'm glad I, I did that. And he said, but you know, you got until later on Thursday before it starts, so I didn't worry about it. I didn't think about it. Well, apparently that changed because the dogs and I got up around 10 to 8, and I took them out, and it was fine. And, uh, stop it. I started getting myself ready, and... I was all ready to go except to blow dry. Stop it. Can you see them? There's one of them. The other one is being very mean. Where are you? There she is right there. You stop being mean. Mm, I love you. Yeah, so I'm in the living room. Is this where I had you? Anyway, um, I decided to look the weather channel up and see when to start expecting things, because I was thinking I wanted to go to Walmart after my WW meeting just to putz around, you know. I went to Small Mart yesterday, I'll go to Walmart today. And he was saying how it already started snowing at seven o'clock and by 10 the whole viewing area should have snow. And well, there was nothing there at eight. So I got up from here and I went over and looked and it was some grass, some snow, it was already starting, you know? So I was like, oh well, I'm not going. And the picture I just showed you, I took just before I sat down. He said we could get up to an inch an hour all afternoon before it turns to sleet, and so it's going to be a very messy evening commute. Mama staying home. And I was so excited to go because when I was in the Dollar Tree yesterday, I ran into two people I knew, a lady from church and the receptionist from WW. I don't know what they're called, but they're still receptionist to me. And she saw me and she's like, the cakes are in. And I was like, oh, because if you know, every week I look at her and I'm like, no chocolate cakes. She's like, no chocolate cakes. And um, I think she said it was last week, she said I was cleaning out my cupboard and I found a chocolate cake and I got so excited that I had it right away. I thought that was funny. Um, but anyway, she said uh, yesterday, she said the chocolate cakes came in yesterday and I thought of you first thing and I wanted to tuck some away for you. And I'm like, well, hopefully I'll be there tomorrow. I'm not sure. My car's in the shop and it's supposed to snow, but I should hopefully be there. So... I planned on it and that didn't work. And I, I didn't know if I wanted to get two or three uh, boxes of them. They're $5.95 a box. And I was just gonna have them and tuck them away because who knows how long it's gonna be, you know. I mean, I could go to the Weight Watcher site and order them, but then you're paying shipping and handling. So anyway, if I get them, I get them. If I don't, I don't. Uh, so no weigh-in today at Weight Watchers, and I decided I'm not going to weigh-in at home because today's not my weigh-in day unless I go to Weight Watchers. I still have two full days of eating before I weigh myself at home on Saturday. Well, that sounds fattening. Two full days of eating. So this morning I had some Special K cereal. You can have one and a quarter cup for four points. Can you chew that a little louder, please? Thank you. And I had a cup of... Um, unsweetened almond milk so that was five points and I always sprinkle a little cinnamon on mine and I put a banana in I had one more banana that was begging to be eaten quickly so I did that and now I have a new bunch of bananas from Small Mart yesterday and a whole bunch of red grapes they were only a dollar 86 a pound the red grapes I wanted to get two bags I should have but I didn't anyway 
Uh, my car was in the shop. Yes, last week I noticed if I put my window down, my tire would make a sound as it rolled. You know, like like if you had a sticker on your tire, you heard it every time it went around, thump, 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 thump. And I'm like, what's stuck on my tire? And every time I parked and got out and looked, like when I got home or something, I couldn't see anything. So uh, Friday evening when Chrissy and I went out for dinner at Panera's, we used my car and as soon as we got in the car, it said low tire pressure. And that's when I told Chrissy about the noise. So we went out and looked and you couldn't see a low tire. So uh, the, the car, the indicator tells you when there's a low tire pressure, but it doesn't tell you what tire. So we drove straight over to a garage, um, a gas station that has um, free air. And I did not have a tire gauge. So she ran inside and bought one and came out and checked them and filled them. And the one passenger back tire was low, lower than it should be. So she filled it up and it took away the indicator light in the car. And she says, when it's really cold outside, your, your pressure goes down and maybe that's all it was. So then on Saturday she left and I went to church on Sunday and I stayed home Monday and Tuesday. And then yesterday I went out and I went, um, I was gonna go to her car first and start it because I told her I would start it a uh, couple times over the week, let it sit and run. But on my way to her car, something said, go back and look at your tire. So I went and looked and it looked totally inflated, but there it was, a screw head. I finally parked in a position where I could see it. And that would have been on Sunday after church. Uh, and there it was, a nice big screw head, but my tire was full. So I, I didn't even get in my car. I just went to Chrissy's and I started it and I sat there and I called Kia and I told him I got a screw in my tire. And he said, you could bring it, but you'll have to drop it off because we are booked and I probably won't be able to get to it um, till tomorrow, but I might at least be able to look at it today and tell you if it needs to be fixed or replaced. So I said, that's great, but I don't have a ride home. He said, we have a shuttle. So I got in my car then, because I thought if, I, I didn't make an appointment or anything. He just said, if you can bring it in today, that's fine, It'll, but it'll have to sit. So I thought if I've got that low pressure thing, the car's just gonna sit there. I'll use Chrissy's vehicle for the rest of the week, and then next week, when we can get around to it, we'll work on it but I got in the car and there was no low pressure indicator. So I booked it to Kia, which is right across the street from um, my Weight Watcher meeting. And I dropped it off and I got a ride home with the shuttle. Really nice man in a brand new Kia. I don't know. I don't know. It's like a, a van. It's very nice, nice and big and roomy and everything. Nothing I would want, but it was brand new. And uh, my car turned 1,000 miles on the way there. So I wanted to take a picture of it, but when I looked, it was 1,002, and I didn't take a picture. Ruined. But anyway, so it's old now. Um, the guy, he had new tires there, like on display, and he said, do you know where the screw is? Can you show me on this tire? And he said, because if it's in the middle of the tread, you're good, we can plug it up, but if it's on the outside of the tread or on the sides, then you're looking at a replacement. So I pointed on the tire right where I saw the screw and he's like, ooh, that's not good. You were probably looking at replacement. And even though I have all of this fantastic coverage for my car under warranty and everything, that tire repair is not included if it was a manufacturer's defect yes but a screw in the tire no so i was literally screwed yesterday terribly anyway he called me and he said guess what what he said we can fix it we were able to bring it in and take a look at it, and he said that it is easily fixable with a patch that has a plug in it. It's a combination patch plug. We don't do regular plugs anymore, he said. It's a patch with like a 
like a poke in the patch and that goes in the hole and it gets all glued in place because the tire gets completely removed and um, and then rebalanced and filled and put back on and everything like that and he said and guess what I'm like what George I'm getting to know him you know a lot better and uh, he said I had a two o'clock cancellation so we can get it done for you right now and it'll cost you fifty dollars plus tax just do it so I wasn't anticipating seeing Tom again so when George called back and said um, it's ready to go she's all ready to go like brand new so I said well Tom said that whenever I'm ready to come back to let you know he's like all right I'll tell him so then I got a call from Tom and he's like I'm outside whenever you're ready to go because I can't see from here the front I have no no knowledge of anything that goes on in the front of the building I only have the back here like you saw in that picture that's all I see so anyway um, I took off with Tom back to George and I got my car and I'm like are you sure it's safe because that scares me a plug this is a brand new car two months old and I've already got a plug in my tire my last car for 15 years, I never had a plug in any of the tires I ever owned. <sighs> I wish I knew where I picked that up. But I don't go to weird places. I go to church. I go to the stores, the doctor's office, and home. It could have happened anywhere. I could have picked it up on the road. You know, it's maddening. I just pray it doesn't happen again because that was $15, $50, $53 something with tax. So he, when he handed me the invoice, he had the screw taped to it. I have it here because I have everything on the table. I've realized this week while Chrissy's gone that I am a slob. That kitchen table is covered with stuff. I can't sit there. It's all stuff that has to be put away. My kitchen counter, those two puzzles that I bought on Saturday that I, I brought this table out to do puzzles. I haven't touched the puzzles. I have lived at this table. This table, I just, it's amazing. I'm going to be so upset getting rid of it on uh, Saturday when Chrissy comes home. So I get to keep that, it's a nice memento. So that's what I did yesterday. But when, um, when Tom brought me home, I came in because I didn't want him to see me just getting in another vehicle and leaving. Just because I had another vehicle doesn't mean I had a ride home. So I went in and um, I think I pottied quick and I don't know, I did something and then I left and Tom was gone and I got in my daughter's car and I took off and I did uh, the bank, the Dollar Tree, and Small Mart and came home. And it was weird driving her car. She has a, um, a uh, it's gone, trailblazer. So anyway, that's what I did yesterday. I have a, a little list of things. When I went to Small Mart, guess what I found? more planner stickers. I was able to get the watercolor and the seasonal. And I had them on my list. On my phone, I had a list of 10 planner stickers that I wanted to find. And so these were two of them. And these were only 12 something, as opposed to $20 that you get at the store. And when you get them at the store, if you save, if you wait until you can get um, coupons, you'll either get 40 or 50% off. It's rare to get 50, but it's more likely you'll get 40, which this is pretty much the 12 something is what you pay for a 40% discount. So yeah, $25 on stickers yesterday, but I'm very happy. I'm very happy. And uh, crossing things off my list because I don't want to forget things. I sat here and I'm like, I'm so excited. It's Thursday, but I can't go anywhere and I still want to talk. So, gee, we talked about a lot already and it's, oh, it's 14 minutes, no wonder. So I have, um, I'm making something for Chrissy. Are you gonna wrestle now? Okay. Um, I'm making something for Chrissy. I have these booklets. There's like eight of them in a pack and they're all like, they're blank. They're just blank booklets that you 
They're like for crafts, for kids to make their own books or something. Because I thought, wouldn't it be cute if I could make something for Chrissy to talk about the week while she was gone in a sad, pathetic kind of way. And then I remembered this pack of books that I had that Chrissy made me buy because she's always wanting me to write books. I, I write books in my head. I've got a lot of stuff written down. But some children books and things, there's one I'm working on that's all in poem form that I would love to finish. But anyway, I just thought I'll go ahead and do this. Now I got the front cover done and I guess you can call it page one, which is Saturday. Each page is going to be a day, Saturday through Saturday. And I'm gonna show it to you and it's really rough, uh, but it's complete. These two pages are complete and I'm not going to fix them or, or add anything else to them. They are done, don't judge me. But this says, what we did the week you went away, written and illustrated by mom. <laughs> and I used some planner stickers and I wrote this out. You can see the eraser marks. I did a lot of erasing because I kind of wrote it out with pencil first and then there's some planner stickers and then I just wrote the, or drew the stems on it. And that's the cover. And then the first page says it all started on Saturday. And then I did like a bullet point. There's four things. And you know, she left and there's, I had a sticker for a green suitcase and her suitcase is green and she took her passport and we talked on the phone until she disappeared, literally disappeared. She, we called like two more times called back because she would just fade away. And then finally the last time we just didn't call each other back because she was already sailing away and it was just getting further and further. And I have these stickers um, from my, scrapbooking days because I would always scrapbook our cruises. So anyway, um, I'm gonna work on Sunday next and I pretty much wrote down things that I did in my, in my planner so I know what I did each day, which was not a whole lot, especially on Monday and Tuesday. I didn't go anywhere, I didn't do anything. Um, so it's just a real basic of what we did while you were gone and how we sort of survived. Luna's doing pretty good. I have her mother's t-shirt. What are you chewing on, young lady? Excuse me. No, no, you don't chew on that blanket, no. Gracie likes to gather up the blanket in her front paws and chew on it ever since I took all her Nyla bones away. But anyway, I don't know if you can see, there's a black t-shirt there on the sofa and that is my daughter's. She wore it on um, for a little bit on Friday and slept in it. And then she told me she hung it up on a hook on her bathroom wall in case I needed it. We planned it, you know. I said, maybe you should leave something for her. And she said she decided she was gonna like change her sheets too so that she could come home to clean bedding. But she thought about Luna and said, I'm not gonna change my sheets in case she wants to get into bed. She hasn't gone in there, but um, I think on Tuesday, Tuesday evening, I went and got the shirt from the bathroom wall and gave it to her. And it's just there to smell like her, to make her feel better. There was only one night, um, I think it was Monday night, late 10, 11 o'clock when Chrissy would be coming home from work, that Luna sat here staring toward the front door in anticipation. Where is she? What was that noise? Is that her? And she'd look at me and I'd be like, I know what she was doing. I know what she was thinking. No baby, no mommy, not today, no, you know. Um, and since then, she's been fine. It's the longest she's gone without her. Um, unless, you know, we had them both in the kennel because we were both gone. But it's the longest we've been home uh, together like this without her. And she's doing really good. And I can't wait to see her when her mother comes home. Hope she doesn't pee. Right? All right, so uh, that was my, my Chrissy book. And I think I'm gonna make an envelope out of construction paper to make it fit. Use some double-sided tape and then just give it to her sometime after she gets home. So I was going through coupons earlier and uh, Bed Bath & Beyond, they have these coupons in the back. Uh, the last few I've been getting is $10 off your purchase of $30 or more. I have a million of these coupons to the point where I'm giving them away in line when I'm checking out because I have that many and they don't expire. They, I mean, when it expires, they take them anyway because they don't care. They still work. So um, with that said, 
I am doing a product review. It came in the mail yesterday and I'm excited to do it. It came from the same company that I did the last product review on, which was a personal space heater. Uh, only I don't have, I can't use it for anything. My, my um, bonus granddaughter would like to use it in her, in her college dorm. So I said, yep, the next time you come, uh, I'll let you, I'll let you have it. So it came from that same company, Fit First, and I'm excited to, uh, to try it. Today I'm going to read up on the instructions and give it a try and do the video. And anyway, I was back to clipping the coupons here. I flipped the page over to make sure there wasn't anything good on the other side of the coupon that I, I, I wanted to see. And I look here on the bottom and do you see this? This is identical, practically, to what I am going to be reviewing, and it's $60. And this is a heating pad that goes over your neck and your shoulders and all the way down your back. And it is blue, fuzzy, just like that. But this is a different brand, unless it doesn't have a, it doesn't have a brand name on it. It just says Relief Ultra, Relief Wrap Ultra. And mine is a neck and shoulder heating pad. And uh, I'm really excited to try it because that puppy can keep me nice and warm. And I did pull a muscle a few days ago. I don't know why, right in the middle of my back, which is very unusual for me. If I'm gonna pull a muscle, it's usually on my left side. I don't know why. So my muscles, my back muscles must be getting weak and I need to do something about that. So this will be really nice because putting heat on sore muscles relaxes your muscles so they can heal. And anyway, I just thought I would show that for you. It's $60 and I believe mine is like 40, 38 or $39. With tax and, and everything, it would come to $40. So that's what I'm gonna be reviewing. So that video will be coming out. I let the company know that I'd like to have it out before the end of the weekend. So that's my goal to actually do today. And I also have another product review uh, delivery today, a product due today that I'm going to review. And I think I already mentioned that to you. It is a uh, 5D diamond painting. And it's gonna be a picture of, I think it's like a basket spilling out uh, yellow flowers. But I'm not sure it, right now if they're daisies or sunflowers. I just I can't picture it, but that's due today. And I'm going to do, um, the lady said she would like me to review it done, but you know how long those things take? It's not quite as big as this one that I did right here. That's a 40 by 40 centimeter. I think this is like a, um, I honestly don't remember, like a 30 by 35 or something. So it's a little smaller or a 35 by 40, I don't remember but it's not a square. Hopefully I can get it framed pretty easily. And so I'm going to record the unboxing and then I'm gonna do inventory to make sure I have all the pieces. And I guess I'll just do like occasional recordings of my progress making it and then a final one when it's done. So I'm really gonna to have to hunker down and work on this to try and get it done to do the review because she would like the review of the finished product and that's like that's gonna take weeks probably for me so we'll see if it snows more it may not take very long at all and guess what my list of things are crossed off that's all i have to say and we're in 25 minutes so i guess i'm gonna go this is my thursday this is what i'm doing and i'm gonna eat really good today tomorrow and weigh in on saturday so that's probably the next time you're gonna hear from me for my at home weigh-in update video. So until I see you again, be blessed.